Flux was up these stairs. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. It is a bit of a way to get to Flux, but... Eh. It's better than Cora's Den. Huh. Oh. There is the... Uh, rapid transit. So now we can take the rapid transit here whenever we want. I believe, anyway. Um... Okay. Doran. Rita. Hello, Rita. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Alright, so we'll handle that as well as uh, handle this. Ooh, hello Mr. Keeper. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of scanning you yet. There we go. That didn't come out right, did it? Been tampered with, and someone is funneling credits to a private account. I will attempt to trace the signal. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the next place you want to go to is uh, somewhere called Ward's Access. We'll do this uh, kind of little, not treasure hunt, Easter egg hunt, eh, wild goose chase. Wild goose chase is the most appropriate. Uh, we'll do this wild goose chase before we deal with, uh, what's her name, sister at, uh, Cora's den. Ward's locations? No, it's in Presidium. Wait, wait, gimme. There we go. You're a little slow, aren't you? Ward's access. You actually do have to look pretty carefully for this one. You do actually have to look uh, pretty carefully for this one because... Oop. No, 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 put your weapons away, dude. Oh, interesting. I see a plot the thingy. Have this Why is there a plot thingy? Where is this plot thingy? The plot thingy is right here where the Hanar used to be pre preaching. Well, don't tell me there's a plot thingy here if there's nothing there anymore. Sheesh. Anyway, um, I have no idea what I was saying. The uh, place where you scan the signal again is kind of out of the way. You actually have to go towards it and as if you knew where it was. Fortunately, I do know where it is. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. So, what's up guys? This is a long elevator ride. Either that or it's glitched. No, no, it hasn't glitched. Good. Because that would suck. Anyways, let's head on over to here. So how are you liking your there it is. It's good. Our has employed a hidden relay to redirect their signal. I shall trace the new signal. What do you say we okay, so now, do you remember where Barla Vaughn was? Because we're basically heading right back over... Oh, that was a bit of a glitch there. Uh, we're heading uh, right back to his office. Right inside his office. That's where I first brought up the AI, now that I remember. That is if I brought up the AI. 
If not, then never mind. Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Now that is a mission that you can do. And it's a mission that I will do because... Come on, guys being hostage? I don't want to have that happen. So, uh, we're gonna go save him, but after Novaria, because I feel guilty about holding up the plot for you guys. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I digress, kind of. We're gonna go head over to Barlevon's office, which is just across the water. Ooh, damn it. Didn't want to do that. Anyways. Did you know... And you learn this from Mass Effect 2, that the water down there, in the lakes, you end up drinking that water. Well, that's basically the drinking water for anybody who lives on the Citadel, or anybody who takes a glass of water from the Citadel. That water is what you drink. It gets filtered, obviously. But... Oh, hello. A dispute. Can I help? I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? <sighs> Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> my sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances the gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that 1 in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. That's a little creepy. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Level up! Awesome! I think if you- either if you go with the gene therapy, or if you don't end up talking to them, they end up in Mass Effect 2 on the Citadel, and they're- they're bickering again. Uh, let's level up real quick first. We're actually not gonna bother talking to, uh, what's his name? Barlevon. Because there's nothing useful we can learn- oh, damn, I forgot the other guys. There's nothing we can, uh, really learn from him that we don't already know. Because that information's all old news, essentially. We want to go to this. This appears to be another relay. I believe the receiver for the new signal is located somewhere on the Presidium. Now, I bet you're wondering, how the hell did I find all of these? Did I stumble upon them? Well, no, you can actually go into your journal, and it's constantly updated with uh, the next location. So, uh... Ooh, now then. 
You might want to save here. I'm not going to. I believe we have found the signal's endpoint. It should be possible to identify the account to which credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. That could be a problem. <laughs> Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. What? Wait, wait, wait. Attempt to move and I will die. If I move... But if I don't move, I will die from you blowing up anyway. The, what? Do you ex Or am I just supposed to stand here for the rest of eternity? You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. So, what can we ask him? Creator's location, creator is dead. Well, technically the creator was a simpler AI created by a thief who was smuggling money. Uh, reason for self-destruct, because he's gonna die. Creator is dead, no reason for to be known. A uh, reason for theft is he was stealing money to make a body so he could, he could escape, run to the Geth, and live with them in peace. Anyway, eh. Uh... I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. There we go. It's really helpful if you know the code, because the faster you get it, the more money you get. Uh, we've now disabled that, and we got a whole load of money as well. Um, so it's better that you look up the code rather than trying to figure it out yourself. But if you are going to figure it out yourself, that's why I suggested you save beforehand. Uh, since I knew the code, well, technically I've got it here with me, so I don't exactly know it. But um, since I quote-unquote know it, I didn't need to save. And I'm looking for a rapid transport, which is that away. So we can head over to Korra's Den and deal with that, that other one. Uh... We'll talk to you. I Hello, don't really Spectre. want to, but we'll I talk to you. I have a business proposition for you. I see a little How glitch you know in the I'm bottom right-hand corner. Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Find someone else to do your dirty work. I want no part of a gang war. Here are the coordinates, nonetheless. What you do with them is your decision. Could you really let these men live, knowing that you can stop them? Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. So you probably want to know why that was the... Actually, wait. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Oh, huh, weird. That bottom right hand uh, progress meter isn't going away, which is annoying. Um... So you want to know why I turned her away? Well, it's because... Uh, let's walk a little further so I can talk a little bit more. Um, she works for a third crime boss. Uh, you know how she mentioned two crime bosses? Well, she works for a third one, which is neither of those two. And if we take down those two crime bosses, the third one will end up uh, more powerful. Uh, you can see where that's going. And I don't really want to do that. I want to keep the three current bosses at war with each other and keep the three of them weak. That's my thinking anyway. We want to go to... Korra's Den.
Righty ho ho. Ah, it looks like that glitch in the bottom right hand corner is still there. I guess I'll have to, uh, exit the game in order for it to go. I really hope it doesn't stay for the whole game. That would be a real pain in the ass. Anyway, there she is. Hello, Jenna. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Stubborn girl. <laughs> anyway, are you and your sister like twins? Because you look identical. It's not that hard to find you when you look exactly the same as your sister. Hello, random guy. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. I cannot believe Ha huh, is one of the answers. How stupid do you have to be? He spelt it out for you, for Christ's sake. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That's Chalik. What's he up to? I guess we'd better go find out. And now we have to go all the way to CSEC. Sigh. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway. It's just um a lot of backtracking, sort of. Forward tracking, backtracking, side tracking, left right tracking. Oop. We went the wrong way tracking. Uh yeah, see sec. Yeah, when you first pick up this quest, you think it's going to be really easy. Eh, you're kind of wrong. It's not really... Well, actually it is quite easy, but... I make it hard on myself. You know? Because I'm a good guy. I mean, uh, you could take the Renegade option, I guess, and just not do anything about it, but... Nope. Well, I really wouldn't know about the Renegade option. Nope, not in there. In here. Hello, Chelik. You got here quickly. Come into my office. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Shrewd, detective. Very shrewd. As part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chelik. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But... That still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. And out of the pure kindness of my heart, I will do it. See, if you were renegade, you could just get away with not helping anyone and just getting away scot-free, basically. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Okay. Um. There's perfectly good explanations for that. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Paragon plus two and four thousand! Hang on a second. I remember the last time I did this. I got 10,000 from you last time. That's not fair. Okay, um... Yeah, we need to go this way. So we can head to, uh... The lower market. See what I mean about all of this tracking going everywhere, basically? It's a pain in the butt.
I just realized... Oh, what? I thought I traveled to the markets. Instead, I accidentally hit Cora's den. Huh. I guess subconscious me realized which would be quicker. Oh, wait, open the door. And if we can sneak up on him and assassinate him... No, that's the wrong game, isn't it? <laughs>